I'm not mm-hmm. live. Okay, so first things first, what uh like you say you've just like recently started picking up Camille. What is it that you wanna you wanna get out of this session? Is it you wanna you wanna learn how to lane properly? You wanna learn how to you know, maybe some good trading patterns, like wave management, you know, to set yourself up? Is it post laning phase, you know, what what you should be doing and where? Like what what is it that you find that yeah. you struggle with? And and what do you think you're currently like you think you're pretty good at? I think um so for like I guess I wanna start with what I'm struggling with because that's something like I focus on a lot. Yeah. Um, one thing that I noticed is that because I used to be like a Riven main, right? Uh-huh. And like Riven, like you want to fight all the time. Yeah. And you want to like snowball. And so with Riven, I go like conquer, right? Yeah. But then with Camille, like everyone goes grasp, right? So you're supposed to play like a more like poke kind of lane. And sometimes like I just, I'm just so used to conquer so that I just all in and do extended trades, but just like end up losing and just like end up losing the lane because of that. So I guess like one thing is like um, I want to like know when I can all in like learn my damage better, yep. and then also learn like better trading patterns yeah, because sure. like Riven like you can stun them and like run away right, but then yeah. Camille is like if you use your stun then you're in a very vulnerable position, and like sometimes like I just walk up and try to auto them, but obviously like against someone like Yone he can just like kite me back. Yeah, you see, you, so yeah, matchup spacing. It's a few matchups that are all about spacing. Um, yeah, right sure. so like i have to learn about i have to learn like to space better with camille because i don't have four dashes anymore right yeah and then i think i have to learn how to use my ult better because i feel like i i sometimes waste it like yeah. i'll ult them when i really don't need to because yeah. i have like a movement speed up from q or something yeah, yeah and then i think my w too as well i like in the yod match i feel like whenever i w like he would just shield it and so i would lose that trade um even though i get like a little bit of healing um, I think they nerfed Camille healing on her W like a long time ago. Yeah, I want to go. So, ahead. so yeah, I I won't be able to out outtrade his like shield. Yeah, and sure. in general, like I'm struggling against like harder matchups like Renekton and like Darius. Yeah. Like yeah. I'll walk up to like a Darius and like try to trade, and then I'm thinking, oh shoot, I have to get out of this trade. Yeah. Yeah. And it's even harder like, now. The lane is... no walls. Right, right, and so like I'll E, and then he E's me, and then I'm dead. And then yeah. if he doesn't play the lane, that's basically one death or two death is like game over. Yeah, sure. And then I guess another thing with Camille is that lane uh, wave management, like I struggle a lot because with Riven, you can just like spam spells, push the wave really fast or wave? like even proxy, right? Yeah. And so with Camille, like you can't really do that. And so like I ha- I'm struggling with knowing and doing, knowing what to do and when like the wave is like, close to my tower you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, sure. because like i'm in a position where if i push then i'll st- i'll lose tempo but if i don't push then i feel like they can easily crash the wave and then if i don't have tp then i'll just lose like a whole wave of minions and exp and gold yeah sure okay and cool. then lastly yeah yeah, okay, yeah. No, go ahead sorry yeah of course yeah so lastly is like team fights like i feel like i ian and then insta die yeah so I don't know how to do that. Sure. All right, cool. No, that's, that's fine. Um, let's get to it then, yeah? Uh, uh-huh. All right, so I'm just going to play the video. Uh, I saw this video. This one was a bit unlucky. I think Yon got first blood, right? At the start of this game. Uh, um, I got first blood. I killed their jungler. Oh, you I roamed because I got Ryo. No, yeah. here, here, here. This Yon here. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're uh, right. First blood. Okay, uh, can you, look, let me just test something. I've got this app. Can you see that I'm drawing on the screen right now or not? Um, no, I don't. No. Okay, let me let me share the right thing then. On I can see your cursor though. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me just share the window, this whole screen then. Uh, yeah. You're not going to hear audio, but I think it's I think it's worth the trade for this app. Um, sure. Okay, cool. So, I mean, Camille, one thing that she super excels at, you know, and... Mm-hmm everyone knows it uh mm-hmm. is that she's got probably one of the best gank setups in the game uh right you know she's got well i mean even the walls changing makes a bit of a difference but you know her e and her r she is perfect at setting up uh ganks for her jungler um right so the first thing you know noticing here your jungler is starting bot side right which means that you know unless he's level three ganking it looks like he's potentially looking to path top so in a matchup like this, if I can see my jungler here, the first thing I'd want to do is 
try and make sure the wave pushes to me. Do you know okay. how to do this from level one? Uh, I just let him hit the minions, right? There is a way that you can also uh, just force the wave to push to you. And and if he's leashing, you can also deny him the first minion like of XP as well. So right. uh, obviously it's risky in, into matchups like Darius and stuff uh, where you can mm. potentially just die level one. Um, right. But if you're if you're already in lane and you're able to get prior, if you can stand in this third bush like all the way down here, uh, mm -hmm. like here, and then when the wave starts to spawn, if you just catch the wave and you just you just tank the wave just for a, like a little bit, mm -hmm. basically what's going to happen is your wave instead of the waves meeting in the middle, your wave's going right. to come here and it will meet it here, uh, right? And basically that means that you know when the next wave comes. That that wave mm -hmm. arrives quicker, be closer so to there's, 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 there'll be maybe ten minions here before there's ten minions here, mm -hmm. right? And that's that's basically right, right. how you create a slow push pushing towards you. Uh, okay, I see what you're saying. And if he's leashing, like if you if you do end up catching the the minions, the minions have some weird like AI where they they'll like all group around you, and if once they do mm -hmm. catch back, um, mm -hmm. they can all just team up on your first melee minion, and they'll just they'll just kill that minion really quickly. And if 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 enemy top lane is leashing on blue, which they don't normally, mm -hmm. but like it can happen, right? Like if they're leashing, mm -hmm. they'll just lose a minion straight out. Um, mm -hmm. And there, there is no counterplay to this for the enemy top lane. Like, his wave is forced to push towards your tower. Uh, his jungler is mm -hmm. pathing bot side. Uh, so he's, you know, and that, that's that's one of the, the beauties of top lane. Um, right. But, you know, it's you know it's not the most important thing. But, yeah, that's one thing definitely to look at at the start. You know, your jungler is pathing top side. So I would be looking straight away to, to set the wave up. You know, Camille's not like River. She doesn't have insane early game like damage she's yeah she can so, she can get mm -hmm. some solo kills she can punish but you know right such good gank setup you got a slow you got a stun with just two abilities um right and especially because of the changes to the walls you want the wave to be like to be here right so you have access to your e mm -hmm. if the wave's in the middle of lane you you can't e anywhere you've got nowhere to e mm -hmm. um but the first few levels of any lane are the most important you know uh so you've got a grasp so you I mean, I I never take grasp on Camille unless I'm against uh, maybe Gragas, um, unless I'm against a volley bear. You know, the champions that kind of or river. You know, the champions that look to stun, and then mm -hmm. and then and then get away. For example, Gragas, he he stuns you with E, hits you with like the the W Q, and then he phase rushes out. Right, like you can't you can't all in. You can't retaliate to that. Same for volley bear. Right. He stuns you, absolutely fucks you, and then he runs away. You know, like. Mm -hmm. Champions like Yone, especially I think especially Yone, I don't think you should ever take grass because you're just mm -hmm. going to get space trying to go for that proc and you can all in. You can definitely all in. And I saw some po points here where if you had Conqueror and you stick to him, I mm -hmm. think you just kill like early on. Um, right. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know how to go, which runes to go sometimes because yeah. I just see grass on OP.GG and I just go that. I mean, I have a... Have you seen my spreadsheet? I know it's, it's super out of date. It was for last season, but... A lot of the matchups mm -hmm. they still apply conquer versus grasp like okay i'll take uh, a look at it yeah yeah um and obviously i've got have you seen any of my videos um no i actually haven't i've got a bunch of videos especially like i've got several on the darius match how to win the darius matchup how to win the renekton how to win the rip mm -hmm. you know like uh, right they're, again they're for last season so obviously there's some changes but there's a lot of generic tips like for example how to outplay mm -hmm. the, like darius ease and stuff like that uh so mm -hmm. it's, you know definitely take a look at those when you get some time um okay okay so straight away yon's coming into lane we have a grass proc already from hitting the minions right mm -hmm. and right. we know he's starting q this is where i would walk up w slow and take a grass proc straight away like you know okay this is good you know i'd walk up here I... <clears throat> farm the grass procs you know he's not going to be able to do like what you said shield and uh and block it right yeah so right yeah with your own, if you do run at him, like just blindly, you know he obviously has a range advantage with his Q. Um, right. But so, what's about to happen to the wave right now? So it, I, I think I'm pushing it towards his turret, right? Yeah, but more importantly, what's like what's what's happening right now? What position are we in that he's not? Uh, I'm not sure what you're trying to get at. So. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Uh, more specifically, the health it's got and our XP. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, Camille's oh, okay. early game isn't the best in the in the world, but we got to lane mm -hmm. first. We've got Pryo, 
we're going to get level two first. Mm-hmm. You know, here I'd right. be looking at, you know, either harassing Walk him or, or hitting the minion, but definitely mm-hmm. walking up and getting ready to just spam level my E up because he's still got mm-hmm. one, two, you know, he's got some minions to kill. Uh, right. So he's, he's not even going to be near to, you know, it's not like you're going to get onto him and then he's going to instantly level up. He's, he's still got a way to go. Um, mm-hmm. You know, oh, well, the mine I've miscalculated. Sorry, let me go back. I think he got EXP from the level one kill. Oh, right? he got level. That's yeah. Okay, my bad then. He he got XP from the first kill. Yeah, he, right. he shouldn't get it yet. Uh, but regardless, you know, in a normal situation, if you do have prior in a lane and you are pushing, you have le- you have early level mm-hmm. advantage. You know. Yeah, you don't have the best mm-hmm. early game, but if you're level two to level one, an extra ability is always good. Mm-hmm. You can chase, you know, he's just Q, chasing Q him here. You've got Grasp and Q. Camille's Q got buffed. Right. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, good. I saw, but I didn't know what it was. It's just, it's a bit of movement, it movement and a bit of damage. Yeah, okay. so even mm-hmm. if you're looking to just Q a minion to then run at him and Q, like you don't have to wait for it to fully activate, especially if you, have, if you are taking Grasp. If you have a Grasp active, mm-hmm. you know, like, I think you're in range to Q him here. But even if not, queue this, run at him and queue this one. You know, like, mm-hmm. because you don't get anything from just queuing that and then queue, to, you know, like, it's just small micro things. But these are the things that mm-hmm. really, like, matter in early laning phase. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay, a bit slow on the E, but I mean, it's good. Chase him down. Oh, absolutely chase him down here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, like, don't back off here. You're level three, you have Ignite. I assume your yeah. doesn't have Ignite. I haven't seen yet. You know? I think he has TP. Yeah. Okay. So even more reason. Mm-hmm. You've just hit the. You've just hit the perfect W. You have mm-hmm. a level advantage. You have a health advantage. And you're right. running this way. Yeah. You know, you right. might not be able to kill him yeah. here. Right. Mm-hmm. But you can for sure get another mm-hmm. auto in. Maybe your Q will be up if you're if you're running at him. You know. You shouldn't be giving him mm-hmm. freedom. If you're dominating the lane like this, don't give him any freedom. Right. No. Yeah, and he's he's got no E here. So what I'm looking to do here, as soon as my E's up, he's dead here. This guy's dead. All in. Hundred percent, okay. he's dead. He's dead here. Okay. He's, he's right by the wall. I missed the kill. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, he's right by the wall. You know, play for cooldowns. Enemy cooldowns. You know, think about each matchup. What's an important cooldown? If I'm playing against Gragas, if that guy just randomly uses his E, I'm all in in him. He he has no CC. He has no way of getting out. If I'm against. Jace and he just transforms to to range form. Okay, well all of a sudden he's got no hammer knockback. If I'm against Riven mm-hmm. and she just uses her W on the wave, you know, like Darius just uses right. his hook random, whatever. Or Darius just uses mm-hmm. his Q, you know, like big cooldowns, mm-hmm. especially like Yone, it's a long cooldown, is he? I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a long one. You know? Mm-hmm. He can't dodge your E. He has nowhere unless he flashes mm-hmm. right now. And if right. he flashes, then that's even that's better, right? So this is a kill for sure, right. or or a flash. Mm-hmm. You know, 100%. Okay, again, he just misses his W. He's got no shield and his bone plate is just gone. Even now, I think his E's mm-hmm. probably still down. You know, if he mm-hmm. dies on this wave, I mean, he's probably got TP, but if he like, if he didn't have TP, he's he's out of the game mm-hmm. instantly on this wave. Like, you know, and mm-hmm. this is where I would be spamping in my jungler. I'd be setting up a slow push. I'd be like, look, jungler, what are you doing? Like, he needs to die on this wave, you know? And right. if you just committed earlier, even if he's... Mm-hmm doesn't die to you short like mm-hmm. and you, you can just spamping the hell out of it especially with your jungler being topside you know mm-hmm. like what, what you know you say your diamond um emerald emerald sorry okay so yeah you know like if you're spamping in it even typing in chat he's one hp come dive you know like mm-hmm. as a, if i'm playing jungle i'm like hell yeah that's a free kill you know like especially if he's one mm-hmm. hp the jungler's got to do no work you just got to run in and, and assist you basically right you know even now, mm-hmm. this guy's way too close. To the, he's so close to the wall. He's like, he's a free, you know. Mm-hmm. Even now, I've just queued yeah, my minion. I would E onto the wall. Mm-hmm. Q2 him. Yeah, we take a tower shot, but our passive would tank it. Q, like, E onto mm-hmm. him. Also Q2 with the grass proc. You know, volley bear. Mm-hmm. Done. Sorted. You know? Right. You've got to be... Right. Yeah, I, you've got to respect your weak early game. But you, you have windows. You know? Mm-hmm. You have windows for sure, and it sucks now with Camille. You don't get a seven hundred gold sheen. Like it's, a, it's really annoying. Right. Goody. Okay. 
unnecessary W here. Right. Just auto. I you, you're just queued. queued. Right. Just auto queue. You know, yeah. like what if she flashes mm -hmm. over here now? You're just pay, you're pathing backwards for mm -hmm. her to, to potentially flash away. You know, like right. And also, if Volibear can take the kill if you're backing off to do your twenty damage W or whatever it does. You know, like <laughs> uh, yeah. Obviously, it's not that low, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's fine. You get a kill. You've actually got sheet, perfect sheen gold here. So I'm mm -hmm. hoping we just insta recall. Uh, I, I was thinking about like going to like push the wave. Fully, Actually, is, it, is it 900 but... or is it 950 now, Sheen? I forgot. It's, it's 900. 900, yeah. Why, okay, so, why... so I was like debating. What, what is there to debate, to, to debate here? Uh, because the wave is like, I guess it's slow pushing towards me, but like I, I kind of wanted to fully push, if, if you know this, what I'm saying. This is perfect. The wave's crashed. You're assisting your jungle, uh -huh. and your enemy jungle mm -hmm. is like crying and bitching about top diff, which is like perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, because you had the prior to invade with your jungler. Right. Right. This wave, mm -hmm. as I was saying earlier at yeah. the start, obviously the minions spawn at the same time. They come at the same time. Look how much further mm -hmm. your minion wave has to come. It's like one and a half mm -hmm. times further, like just to reach this same spot, right? This this center center point, which means that the next lot of wet minions is also going to get there quicker, and the next lot, and you'll have three stacked waves. So here. By the time you get back to lane, the wave will probably be here with two waves, two and a half waves, maybe. You know, and you've got mm -hmm. a perfect reset with that with that gold. You've got Sheen, which makes the, the own matchup unplayable for him now. He, this is a matchup right. where if you get if you actually become, get ahead, you spam kill him. You kill him okay. every time your ult's off cooldown, basically. Um, okay. Okay, let me delete. All right, so. You decided not to, and then you came back, and then you did decide to recall in the end. Yeah, because I saw 900 gold, and I was like, okay, might as well do it. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, it's 900, yeah. This stupid glowing moat is the most useless item in the world. Uh... I agree with that. Cool, so the wave. Look at this wave. Look up. You see how many minions are here already, compared mm -hmm. to how many you've got there. So you've just got a wave. He's got a wave plus the remainder of the last one. Right. So I have a quick question. So is it, oh, would it, well, did I miss like a TP here? If I TP right as I based, Absolutely maybe I could no have like... TP. Absolutely no need to TP. Okay. Unless, unless, unless you're looking to force his TP as well. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, he has to TP anyway. Right? So okay. it's, yeah. it's not worth trading TP for TP when you might miss one or two minions, but he's mm -hmm. going to miss a hell of a lot more. You have to freeze this wave. Okay. I pray I think that's... That you don't let this crash. Especially with your jungle still topside. So we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, there. my macro is not the best, and my yeah. like wave management this, is this not is the all, best. Honestly, for top lane, this is all that matters. Wave management, like it's on it, like especially yeah. for a scaling champ like Camille, this is all that matters. And you're in such a god spot right now as well. You're in a super snowball mm -hmm. matchup. So what I'd be doing is I'd be you know probably queuing this removal speed, it. running into the bush, mm -hmm. running out, you know, keep, like trying to keep mm -hmm. Yone because if 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 you freeze this wave, Yone has to stay or he has to recall and lose another wave. Uh, right. And I'd be spamping in body bear. I'd be like, oh, I'm freezing. Come, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, didn't need to take this trade here. And also reset the mini mini negro. <laughs> okay, so one thing. Yeah, okay. I was about to say. I don't. I mean, you're not at risk here. Mm -hmm. One thing that we do not know. Well, the lot. The one thing we do not want to do right now. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because we have TP. We don't want to die. Mm -hmm. We 100% right. don't want to die here because we're going to lose a shitload, you know? We have TP, it's not the end of the world, but if we didn't, like, this is game over if we lose this instantly. So, right. currently, we see Yone parting down here. Mm -hmm. I, I know it's only Emerald. If I, if I see a, a top laner on who's not, you know, who's, who's items down, who's low on health, kind of running towards River, I'd think, yeah, he's kind of baiting right now. You know, he wants mm -hmm. me to, to do something. Uh, you know... Jungler might be looking to help crash the wave with him. I would, yeah. So, as it happens, Vi came from uh, from down here anyway. Oh. But if she was here or even here, you're mm -hmm. dead before Volibear can even get to you, right? Mm -hmm. Your your jungler is right. so near. I mm -hmm. assume he's coming after Krug. It looks like you know if he sees the wave state, you mm -hmm. don't want to lose too much health before. Like you have no reason to lose health here. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. Let's keep. Let's keep. Okay, run away. She's just coming to help crash, presumably. 
No, she doesn't even do that. Right. See, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. What, like, where, I don't even know where your health's gone. You should be like full health here. If you're full health, you're able to I hold this that, wave. I think it was that first trade that he took, and then I I took minion aggro. Yeah. So right now, you see Yon's yeah. got Q3 up. You see, you see, he's got mm -hmm. his, his dash up. Yeah. Right. Your wave is yeah. gonna make. Even if you don't do anything here, your wave. Mm -hmm. Your wave is only at tower. Like it, it's it's gonna make it to here at least. If, like if you had no in, nothing to inter, you know, you didn't interfere at all. Mm -hmm. So all I would do here is I just run into the bush. Like, mm -hmm. do not take unnecessary, especially when he's in his E, because you can't you can't fight back really. Like mm -hmm. you can't commit right. So right. This, this is this is really bad. Like taking that and it, and then and then continuing to just stand here while you've got one, two, three, four, five, six casters and a cannon beating your ass. Mm -hmm. um, like look, look how much health we've just lost just to this. Like, yeah, right. that's three hundred health. That's that's a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, and again, we're trading in this huge wave. Casters do the most damage, you know. Like you're half health, you know. He's lost about mm -hmm. fifty health in this trade. You've lost half your health. You've lost five hundred. Like that should never happen, you know. Um, uh -huh. So all I would have done here is just threaten the freeze, make sure he can't crash. Now you're not healthy enough to hold it, you know. Mm -hmm. Volibear is being a bit of a bot and just staying on these. You know, and now you're giving Yon a free reset and now he doesn't have to TP. It's just, it's, it's, it's the okay. snowball effect, right? Like, it, uh -huh. it might seem like such minor things and you're not losing lane from this, but you could be destroying right. lane. You know, and that's the difference. You know, when you mm -hmm. see people smurf and just obliterate games, like, right. it's from small things like this, they do, and they just get a lead, which give, they, mm -hmm. get, they get a lead from stuff like this, which gives them a golden XP mm -hmm. lead, which is when they can then suddenly get so fed. Because they're stuck. It's like they're starting the game with an extra 500, 600 gold. You know, like. Right. Just from capitalizing on these small things. All right. Mm -hmm. So now. We have a problem. Right. What's the problem? Um, I'm not going to be able to crash it. No, you're not. Uh, and. We saw Vi 20 seconds ago path down here. She might be on right. Void Grubs. She's probably on there. Our right. wave is fucked. We're in mm -hmm. trouble. This wouldn't have happened if we froze the wave. You know, we might have even got a kill out of it. Uh, you know, it's just small. I'm not saying I haven't seen. I don't know what goes on. I don't know if you die here. I don't know what happens. But we're in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I trade one for one. Okay. So the best thing to do in yeah. a situation like this is to build up your minion wave as much as you can. And by doing this, mm -hmm. you absolutely like. So this is always going to slow push. Right? You have more minions mm -hmm. than he does. You're always going to slow push to him. The thing you right. like to build up your minion wave, you just last hit at the very last, like as you know, as late as you possibly can. Uh, mm -hmm. So none, none of this, you know, like just mm -hmm. last hit. Okay, this is good, you know. And the reason for this is you'll then wait for this next minion wave to come. Um, mm -hmm. actually, I'm, I'm even gonna, I'm even gonna bring it back further than this, All right? You can actually stop your wave from slow pushing here. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you a preventative after like this happens mm -hmm. and then i'm going to show you what to do if it if it does happen right <clears throat> excuse my voice crack okay here i would i would fuck these last two minions you know it doesn't matter run out mm -hmm. and just tank this mm -hmm. okay and what this does is it it means that you're you're delaying um the, the, the distance between like holding the wave here and then it coming here the tower will mm -hmm. kill some of these minions, they'll, these minions will die quicker, which means that your wave's going to push quicker, basically, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. So if you're holding right. this wave, these these minions stay alive longer, which means that you're going to stack up more minions for one, and two, it's going to push slower, rather than mm -hmm. you potentially being caught out. Like it doesn't matter if you're if you're caught out slow pushing here or you're caught slow pushing here. One thing you don't want to do is to be stuck trying to crash a wave like right here because you're in right. danger territory there. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope yeah. that makes sense. But so I, I would yeah. I would have ignored these last two minions and just run out and just and, and tank this just so this doesn't crash. Mm -hmm. that, okay. Let's, let's yeah, see. I see what you're saying. Let's see how many minions die to the tower here. Yeah, that's one. Mm -hmm. Probably three. Okay. Yeah, three. Three minions to the tower that could have still mm -hmm. been alive. And if you're absolutely just last hitting, you see, like mm -hmm. you wouldn't be in a threat right now uh, of crashing this wave. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't mm -hmm. feel, you wouldn't feel the need to potentially just to instantly go and crash this. Um, but now, instead of us sitting nice and securely up here, mm -hmm. we're 
approaching a bit of danger territory. Oh, yeah, and Vi's just done Void Grubs. So now we're fucked. Now we can't farm any of these minions. Right. So, yeah. And we're getting zoned. We, like, we can't, you know, like, if this wave was here, we could probably mm -hmm. still be last hitting. We're not close enough to die, you know? Right. This, mm -hmm. this path goes all the way around. You know, she can't come up behind us. So... We're in a really good spot here, if we if we if we catch it like that. Mm -hmm. um, let's keep playing. Okay, and he's and just hit gets, six. Gets yeah. yeah. Ooh, that was a lucky. Yeah, I trade one for one here. I think this could have been cleaner as well. Let's have a look. Okay, this E was very. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll say that's calculated because it means you got a max range E, which is good, I guess. Mm -hmm. So here, instantly W him as I'm running away. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe just QQ. You know, I mean, maybe you die to her anyway. One for one, good result, but actually bad result because our wave is still fucked here. So we have to TP back. Mhm. Mm uh, right, actually, actually, them holding the wave here for a little bit might have made it push. It might have fixed it. I'm not sure. Fuck, ping in there, like ping there, thumbs whilst whilst you're TP in, and I get back to lane ASAP. Um, mm -hmm. I think the wave's still fucked for you, but yeah. So you you lost a whole cannon wave and the next wave. That mm -hmm. is disaster. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't even like realize, right? You didn't clock it. Like, Vi could still be top runner as well. Like, you've, you've got these wards, right. you know, as you're running in, just just shut the wards down in Pixel. Put them down. Yeah. Um, but here, yon has got nothing. That's Q. So, again, right here, I, what I would be doing is last hitting only, and then when the next wave comes, crash. Okay. Like, hard shove. Because that means you've got two waves pushing, and if you've got two waves with you, then mm -hmm. it's a lot harder for him to fight you in the wave, right? Right. Uh, because there's less minions. There's more of your minions fighting him back, and the cast that they do a lot of damage early game. Um, right. But also he has no ult, so whilst yeah, there's a potential threat for Vi. One v one, there's not much threat right now. Yes. Last hit and only is good. That's not good. Even killing that two seconds, three seconds before it should have died. You know. Mm -hmm. But this is going to slow push back to you now, just because the wave is slightly closer to his tower. If you only last hit, that is. Right. Nice QW, auto Q. I tried to get it, but it was too far away. Now we're going to lose a lot of health. I would eat him here. Okay, so a situation like this, where mm -hmm. obviously Yone likes to use his E to dodge your E, right? Like that's the, the best, mm -hmm. best way for Yone to play the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's unlucky. He's tier two boots versus no boots, right? Spacing you. Right. Here, okay. Fuck. We have nothing to retaliate with. I would just, I would just e and fight him. He's not gonna kill you. Okay. Yeah? He's got no ult. You know. Right. Uh, right. You've got ult. Obviously, he can snap mm -hmm. out of your ult, which is annoying. Um, but you fight him here and you just win the trade. You have to brute force the trade here. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a position where he's otherwise he just runs you down, and. You know he's got no he's got no reason to go back to his E. He's just gonna fight you as long as he can. If you E onto the wall here, even if you just get a bit closer to the wall, you see what your curse is. If you just walk there and then do a really quickly right. off the wall, he's not gonna dodge it. You're gonna Q1, mm -hmm. Q2 him. You know you're gonna do a bunch of damage. Um, mm -hmm. But instead here, you end up taking taking a fr like free damage, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see, if you weren't lost, if you weren't. Um, uh, Bollocks. Uh, shoving miss. If you were just last hitting, like I, you know, like I said um, earlier, mm -hmm. pay attention to pay attention to to this minion wave. If you just last hit these only, you know, and that's that goes for all the minions instead of the few that you killed before the fight as well. So now you're stuck mm -hmm. trying to crash the wave here. The wave mm -hmm. would still be up here. So you, you know, you're 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 further away from his tower, which is what you want, right? Like you don't want to be right. fighting him right by his tower. Right, right. And that, you're kind of too low as well to like actually fight him now as well. 
Mm -hmm. You have cute, you know. Ooh. But there, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of missed opportunities here for where you can fight. It's a lot of there's a lot of like poor wave management, which you know, you're 53 CS eight minutes. You could easily be on right. 65, 70. You know. Um, right. <clears throat> But now we're like really fucked. The wave is pushing to us, so just leave it. Just play it safe. Don't lose too much health. Like, mm -hmm. we're already half health. If we lose more health, we're at risk of getting dove by Vi. You know, just, you've already sacked off a few minions. Just, it's pushing to you. Just, just let it push. You know? Right. You can maybe get these two minions with a W. That's what I'd look to do here. Good. Yeah, that's what I do. Good, good, good. It can E hit. Okay, not like that. So, uh,. Oh, it's this stupid pen tool. I can't click the screen. Here again, yeah. the, what, the best thing to do on Kamut, and the thing that I love the most is like this is what you're doing to things like Darius as well. Mm -hmm. You're this close to the wall. You can mm -hmm. e him, get onto him. You can get an auto in the queue in before he has the reaction. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to react and snap back. You know, mm -hmm. like right. Look, look where he he snaps back. Like oh, he doesn't even snap back, right? But if I, you you get nothing from eing this way. Like mm -hmm. absolutely nothing, and now you have no E, and Vi could be here. Like for all we right. know, Yone could be hard chopping this because Vi wants to dive, and she's in this bush right now. Mm -hmm. And if we have no E, that's that's outplay potential, like gone from a dive, right? Right. And if this right. was higher reload, you'd be for sure getting towered over here. So you want everything up that you can. Yeah. Um. Okay, I mean, we could we could stay forever and go on about like different laning things. Uh, do you want to mm -hmm. get into a bit more late game stuff, uh, or do you want to go on to a, like more laning phase stuff, like with Yon, uh Sorry, with Vladimir or something else. I, I think I beat time. Vladimir. I think I beat Vladimir because like he's like really bad at spacing, but I think I lost the macro because I took really bad roam. So maybe we could watch that video. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah. Uh, let me find the link. Uh, this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one? Yeah, that's that's the one. Cool. Right, let's do it. We're halfway through, so we can... But yeah, no, I see where you're saying, like, I have, like, a lot of missed opportunities. Um, I just, I guess I don't really see them. And now that you like point them out to me, uh, I'll be more on the lookout for them. Like all the wave stuff and like taking the wave and yeah. trading in general. I'll, I guess like no one showed me that. So like, I guess this is like the first time I've got coaching. So yeah, sure. I mean, I, it's, it's more important for champs like Camille than it would be for Riven because you don't have the opportunity to just button mash and shove the wave. You have right. to either commit to a shove through slow push the first wave into hard crash the second uh mm -hmm. which is a common thing you know like a lot of high low high low players do it uh mm -hmm. or you have to look to to freeze and gain your gain the advantage that way you know um but slow push into hard push is always it's, it's the best way to, to crash a wave if you're if you are guaranteed a slow push into the enemy tower right right um cool let's just skip ahead a little bit right so again Okay, we're, we're watching a fight here. Yeah, it's interesting. Again, wait, right, who just died? Okay, there's support. Um, again, Camille at least ruthless combo. You know, like mm -hmm. so much die potential. You can both reset tower aggro with your ult. Um, you know, like she's passing top sides. Looks good to me. You've even got a ward on their on their uh, uh, red buff, so you know where their jungle started. But obviously, we can see Trundle down here. Um, <laughs> let me top lane of Vladimir. Why did you start W here? Uh, because I think he'll probably just like poke me with autos. So the only way I can get close to him or like trade back is use W. Is it? I could E, but like that's a little bit more riskier, right? Mm, not into Vladimir. Vladimir level one has potato damage autos. I would I I take PTA every time into Vladimir. Every single okay. time without fail. PTA alacrity. Uh. You will half health him in two seconds, eating onto him and proc and PTA. Because you get attack speed, mm -hmm. so you proc it instantly. 
right. and then level two you have e and q uh and mm -hmm. you know you could be hiding in the tri bush you could be hiding in this uh little like pixely bush you know um mm -hmm. or even in lane bush uh obviously mm -hmm. there's, there's not as many windows that you're off of so it's very situational but never never first like le level ability before you see like what's going on like yes yeah, so you, you might want w first you know like if he's in lane and there's no e opportunity you want w but if there mm -hmm. is you want to take e you know there's no there's no need to take this like first right um right and i bet you got grasp right yes yeah so how, how do you plan on procking that yeah, I didn't think that through. I uh, just thought like maybe like I would do short trades and like E like, out or something. How 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 are you if the Vladimir is good, how are you gonna get into range to auto him without eing onto him? Uh I guess I didn't think that through. And if so. you and, and if you are eing onto him, then you're gonna want Conqueror, right? Instead of Grasp. Right. Because you're 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 committing. You know, right. you see what I'm saying? Or PTA, right? Like I take mm -hmm. PTA into 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 Vladimir, into like Vayne, into Quinn, uh into squishy mm -hmm. champs, I take PTA. Um, okay. And I actually I yeah. like it into Trinder as well, believe it or not. Uh, and the reason mm -hmm. being, it's unexpected burst, and the amount of times you can you can cheese kill him before he gets a chance to ult because PTA procs. It's uh, mm -hmm. you know, but it's it's all preference like runes. But I really hate and and I was watching like I was watching a bunch of pros like take grasp into Jace, and at the end of the mm -hmm. match they have like four grasp procs. It's like uh, you you can't proc it like you know if the Jace mm -hmm. is good you get space you know even if you do e onto a Jace he smacks you away. Like some people right. argue, like they like it for all three of the the, the grasp tree, but I, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I can't see like the reason behind. You know, I don't like it at all. Um, and it was really tilting me watching like pros play Camille, and you know, obviously I'm no pro, but you know, I've, I've mm -hmm. been high grandmaster playing with the pros, playing my champ only, my and only this champ, like, you know, right. like, um, but it's it's all preference, it's all play style. I know there's less fighting in like pro matches. People are more like conservative but you know even Aatrox like it's a super winning matchup like why are you playing like a bitch with, with Grasp you know uh, mm -hmm. anyway um, okay actually I want to see how the lane started so we're just watching so here oof he's right by the wall I'm running at him I'm pressing E I'm saying thank you very much I'm fucking him up you know like mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, even into stuff like Vladimir, you can take uh, PTA, and you can take, you can even take shit like Cosmic Insight, uh, the Inspiration Rune Secondary Two, uh, mm -hmm. and take D Blade. Like you, you stomp him early game. This is actually a matchup where you actually destroy him. D Blade and D Blade, uh, D Blade E Start PTA. Okay. Oh, obliterate him. Because no, I was just it's such good cheese. Yeah. Because I was just yeah. thinking like I, I defaulted to like range top mode, so I know like range top you want to like sustain it. But you had, but you I had guess, D Shield like, into Yone as well. You took D Shield into Yone. Right. Again, it's a winning matchup. For, like, it's a skill matchup, and Yone can stomp it if mm. he's much better. But, you know, it's a winning matchup for Camille if the Camille knows what, to, what she's doing. You know? Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those matchups that's not just instantly lost. You know, like like Renekton, uh, for example, or mm -hmm. Wally Bear. Like, the matchups where you just you, you just can't you can't play if you're of equal skill because the champion difference is, is that big, right? Like... Mm -hmm. And you get those matchups, you know, you get it happens. Uh, but mm -hmm. that's why it's good to have other champions in your pool. As it happens, both the champs that you play get countered by Renekton, so that's kind of unlucky. But um, that's why I picked up Orn, you know. Um, yeah. If they first pick Renekton, you know, it's suicide to just put Lot Camille into it. Especially if they have a jungler like Elise or Rek'Sai or someone like that with the early pressure. Right. But anyway, yeah, like you have PTA here, you have E. You're already in lane or in this bush or in this pixel or coming looping around from tri bush, right? Like mm -hmm. you're in onto him, you're half helping him. PTA. If you have cosmic insight, chuck an ignite in there early game as well, so he doesn't get that first Q. You know, like he'll be up with cosmic insight quite early for the like when you actually want to go for the kill. He's he's half health right. or third health. Uh, you have a jungler like Elise who's not a power farmer. You know, quite often Elise is get level three and just gank like bam, 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 dead. You know. Like, right. uh, obviously it depends on the jungle you're playing with, right? Like, it's it's not always as easy as that. Uh, but, yeah, especially if you do get the high reload low, stuff like that. And you communicate what you're doing as well, right? Mm -hmm. But Vladimir, super early, super rubbish early game, you know? Uh, right. And again, even if you don't want to do the early cheese, you can grab the wave here. You can at least just tank the wave, make it push to you. Vladimir mm -hmm. into Kimmel, at least being stuck in front of your tower, that is not something that, you know, I want to get involved in. 
Um, mm -hmm. right, let's just see how this plays out a little bit. Let me just find the document I've got somewhere. Do you, do you know uh, how many minions to get like to level two basically? Like when when do you hit level two? I think it's the first wave and then one melee. First wave and one melee, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, melees give more XP than casters. Uh, if you if if you don't if it's not first wave and one, one melee, it's just the first five minions and then one melee, like depending on okay. what, you know like what ones you kill. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know when you get level three? uh no i don't it's first two waves and first two melee uh okay so it's not like you know it's quite easy first wave and one melee first two waves two melee uh mm -hmm. and then level four is first three waves three melee and i think it's a caster as well but you know level four yeah level two and three are such important power spikes and i'm always looking to play for them no matter what every single time right uh, and here we missed an opportunity for level two like cheese right Okay, I mean, he, he's red. Definitely don't be near him when he's red. Okay, he queued a minion anyway. Oof, look up, look. We're, we're one caster. Uh, right. Yeah? One caster yeah. away. So, I would probably say I actually don't care about this cast, this melee minion. Mm-hmm. And, and walk up? I, I, I would be, I'd be here by now. Mm-hmm. And then I'd be control E as soon as I hit level two and E onto him, right? Right. So we hit level two. He's level one. He's not near level two. You took Q. So you, what do you get from this advantage? This level two advantage? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Right. You're not. You're not hitting him. Yeah. You get absolutely nothing from this. Vladimir's loving it. He's free scaling. Right. Oh, we got a grass proc, which is quite lucky. Run, run, run. Okay, nice. Okay, so even though we have misplayed and we might have, we've already missed out on a kill. Or at least mm -hmm. him being like a, an eighth of health, we're still winning, mm -hmm. right? Because that, but that's, right. How, that's how the matchup goes, right? Like it's really easy to win early game. Yeah. Right. Camille top mm -hmm. destroys Vladimir. Camille mid gets fucked by Vladimir. Believe it or not, it's just because of the length of the lane. Right. Uh, okay, but we're gonna get level three off of one, two. Uh, I believe this melee as well, right? Yeah. So, or we killed this caster so we get it early. All right. Please say we go mm -hmm. for it all in here. Good. Ignite. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm igniting here. You're, I'm igniting and pressing Q right now. Your Q will follow his flash. Oh, okay. Q, Q follow. It's like, have you ever played like Vladimir or Fizz or whatever? And you've played against, mm -hmm. I don't know, Garen. Their Q goes through, mm -hmm. you know, like they die through Vladimir Pool and stuff like that. Your Q will go through Vladimir Pool and it follows flashes as well. Right? Oh, okay. So yeah. here, you don't need to auto Q. You just Q and ignite. He is dead. 100% dead. Right? Mm -hmm. So if, but instead, he flashes as you ignite. You know, you, you, you can Q and ignite him. You don't have to wait for another auto or whatever. That guy can die there for sure. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Does he have... Right. Yeah, it's Ghost, right? It's Flash Ghost. Right, he he just did that. Yeah, okay. Flash but ghost. I didn't see the Ghost at first, but so I just pinked Flash. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Does it, you know? Yeah. And I think I dive him here. Yeah, good. Because he's haze for some reason. Yeah, because it's a fucking huge wave, you know? Uh, right. Okay, so I would just be making sure that I don't get hit by this Q. Okay, good. And I'm diving him right now. Right now, before he gets level right. 3. And hopefully mm -hmm. this minion isn't the one that tanks tower. Dive, dive, dive. Cute. Good. Okay. A little bit slow on the combo, but that's, you know, you did it. You got it. Good job. Uh, and you don't have to uh, to kill this wave, but if you just hold this wave right. to distract it, you know, you're mm -hmm. you're going to delay this wave dying as well, basically. Which I would just drag this wave right. just for like, even just two seconds, you know? Or even, right. even ugh, to be honest, I'm a greedy asshole. Maybe I would just stay and kill this wave to get Sheen. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about proxying, but then I was like, I don't have enough wave You're on a clear. proxy and Trundle's pathing top, so it's the right call to, to recall here, uh, I think. Okay. I think, it, I think it's a good choice. 
Uh, but we get back to lane. Vladimir no sums. The way he's pushing mm -hmm. to you. Really, like, really important. Careful with random Ws as well, because, like, sometimes it's not even mm -hmm. worth hitting them. Like, the only time mm -hmm. in a situation like this it's worth hitting them with W is if they have bone plating. Um, right. So you can, you can, you can proc it. Because all you do is just push the wave. Mm -hmm. you know? um, no, yeah, I knew that. Okay. So, champ champions that can interrupt Camille. Uh, Darius, Gragas, Poppy, Trundle, as you just saw. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyone that can put terrain in the way. You know, this was a good reaction from him. Um, mm -hmm. Same goes for laning against Trundle. You never want to do an E like this. Uh, you never want to do an E from here. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't need... Like, right now, you have no way of taking damage from Trundle. You just run this way. Right. All you have to do is just run, like, this way, and you just E this wall. You don't get the mm -hmm. first part of the drag, but you, you, it, you... It basically acts as, like, a small dash, right? Like, a Lucian E or something. Mm -hmm. Like, right. you just... You just pull yourself instantly on the wall and you jump off. Yeah, mm -hmm. he can't react. He can't interrupt that. Darius can't interrupt that. Darius can't eat you out of it. You know, they have no way of interrupting you. Uh, mm -hmm. So, situation just like this. Instead of just trying to eat like down like this, just run this way, grab the wall, and you do an E. You might only go a small distance, but you know, you're not going to take any damage from this guy right now, unless he just for some reason randomly flashes on you. Uh, right. But I bet you take quite a chunk of damage here. I got shield, okay, so it's not too mind. Bad. They don't commit. It's fine, yeah. Um, you're lucky, you know. If, had you been against mm -hmm. a more oppressive top laner who might have been slightly further positioned, you know, towards you, could have mm -hmm. been a different story, right? If you're against someone right. who's got a bit of CC, uh, you know, imagine this was a poppy. I mean, this is like dream case scenario for them. Pillar into stun into, you know, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, same thing as last time. Look at the size of this wave. Like, the <laughs> one thing that you do not want to do... I mean, it's Vladimir, so maybe you're okay. But you do not want to get towered over on this wave. So, just stay as healthy as possible. The wave is pushing towards you. You have no reason to be stepping up right now. The cannon's not even low. Yeah? <laughs> In fact, no, I bet right. you, if you just did nothing, none of, the, none of these minions here would die. <laughs> I don't even think the cannon would die. Because there's just so many of these minions that would kill your wave so fast. Especially right. when he's running at you with, like, red. Uh... Yeah, but now what you do here is you take the focus of these minions, you lose a bunch of health, and it's you know, and mm. and now you might actually end up losing uh, a minion here because their minions are hitting you instead of hitting these. Okay, you don't, but you see my point, right? Right. Uh, but here you should be full health, you know, looking to last hit these. In fact, this guy's been really greedy. If I was full health, I would be hitting. I think you need two melees and a cannon here, you know, for right. level five. I know mm -hmm. it's level five, so what? It's base stats, you know? Looking for an all-in right. If he stays, okay, he's not. Okay, kill one melee, yeah. All right, so if Vladimir comes back, I'm killing him here. Right. But he's not, so it's fine. Again, same thing uh, mm -hmm. as the last video. Yeah. Uh, let's just wait. Catch this wave before it crashes. Don't lose these minions to tower. You lose these minions to mm -hmm. tower, you're you're gonna fuck yourself with a slow push. Like this will at least like slow down time. the slow push, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna lose one, two, three minions again. I think here. Yeah. Oh, you're lucky. Okay, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well this is dream case. Then being here uh, mm -hmm. and not dying. But yeah, uh, if you yeah if you if you end up dragging the wave back to the middle. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you can sometimes fix, uh, it from slow pushing in entirely. Right. Um, so this is an example of slow push into hard push, which was what I'd do right here. Uh, mm -hmm. if I'm not dragging the wave, you know, so I'm last hitting only, I'm waiting for this, this minion wave here to, to mm -hmm. catch up. And yeah. as, soon, as soon as that wave catches up with this wave, I hard push. To get the reset. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. Now the waves. 
the waves all together. Look at the size of our wave. There is no way, mm -hmm. like, we can basically guarantee that this crashes now. Uh, or please don't mm -hmm. say you go to this fight. I'm going to cry. If you I, go to I, oh, oh, you're going to cry. <laughs> oh, no. That's a cannon wave. Bad E as well. Bad W. Oh, no. Yeah, I died for this one. This was the worst. I... Oh. See, this, this, this is the really... Uh, no, 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 you just shouldn't have moved at all. Uh, now look at your wave. Right. Look at the wave. Oh my god, now you're fucked. You're like, what do I buy? You know, you have four long swords. Like, look at the wave you just lost. Oh, you lost two waves there. One of them being a cannon. Right. And I think I try to salvage this. I mean, coming here, again. you kind of have to come here, which is fine. This is this is like sloppy, right? Right. Like, a lot of Camilles get baited by using EW. I like I personally I hate it. Like it's no unless you're guaranteed to hit it every time. So many people just do it and they don't actually hit it, or they'll miss the E right. to hit the W, or they'll just miss the W, or they hit the inner part of the W. You know, like uh, a better thing to do. You can you can cancel your Q animation with W, right? Uh, oh, how do you do that? So it's like queuing and basic queuing and W at the same time. I'll I'll, I'll actually I'll log on to a practice tool and I'll show you some some like combos. Uh, okay, okay. But here, I would just, I would have just E'd onto him, Q'd him, and then as I'm queuing him, W this way. Oh, okay, yeah. But let's. So here, oh, we we should be seven here, bro. This guy should be oh, like, we were so ahead of this guy, right? We should have been mm -hmm. level, probably level seven here if we got that wave and a half. It's one of them being a cannon minion. Um. Right. But anyway, you know, like. We could have got super ahead from laning phase like this, right? We could have we could have got ahead from laning. Like I don't need to go through mm -hmm. this so much. You should be ahead from right now from you know, you could from just what I've said, like in this six minute video. Uh and right. some of the stuff from last, right? You wanted to go over a bit of uh like late game stuff. Yeah, so I think I take a drag I, I, I kill him again because he oversteps. Yeah. And then I get a I think I catch trundle somewhere. Or I go to go to dragon and then I think Elise dies when we're taking dragon. Yeah. And at that point I'm kind of tilted. So. Sure, sure. And then I think that at this point Valdemir kind of outscaled me. Um. Well, he I die here because of a gank. But after this, he kind of outscaled me. Okay, but our I wave is probably here because we fucked up our pushing, right? If we implemented right. the stuff that I said, uh, you know, like uh, obviously it's all retrospective, but like. We shouldn't be in a in this position against Vladimir. Vladimir should be in front of our tower, kind of getting fucked, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But in a position like this, we have no vision anywhere. All we want to do is crash. We don't want to fight him. We can't kill him. Don't want to eat him here at all. And yeah, and that's what. And you even ran in and tanked his empowered Q. But you just you used your E when there was no way you're gonna kill him. You even you even knew he had mm -hmm. W up. Yeah. So, you just tank a bunch of damage. You run back in and let him get that Q. You know, like, this, sh this should never happen, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We give a bounty to Vladimir. Not not, not great. Uh, I want to get to... Yeah, this was a bad dive by me. Because I thought Elise would go onto the, the, the Nefiri at this point, but... Where are you? Okay, yeah. Um, no, this dive is fine. This dive is fine. But at least it hits the turret. That's why it's not Tarek, okay. Tarek should ult early. You should ult a bit later. Okay. The reason you should ult later is you can do some damage before resetting tower. You know? <laughs> this guy's already stunned. You could Q him. You know, you could be damaging him. And then when Trundle, you know, like... You could be ulting to dodge these tower shots instead, right? Uh, this right. time should have altered earlier as well, uh, so it's not just you, but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this ended up flopping. Right. I want to, wanna... and then, oh, actually, you held tab there, I want to, I want to see what the tab is, what the team scores are. Oh, shit, I missed it. 
Okay. So yeah, no, Vladimir's Vladimir's got more CS. He's a higher level. Like, right. This is a disaster. This guy shouldn't be able to face us. Mm -hmm. This, guy, you know, like he's actually stronger. You know, we'd have mm -hmm. so much higher CS. We'd be probably two levels above him if we played this properly, just from like wave management. Mm -hmm. Don't go. Don't take right. terrible fights. If your wave is stacked and slow pushing, like that's a dream mm -hmm. scenario for Vladimir. You leaving so he can farm it in peace. Like crash that wave, get out of there, and then you've got the prior to move down. You know, mm -hmm. like take that time yeah. to crash that wave so you can. Because especially when you're winning, you're 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 not weak. Like why are you weak siding yourself? Uh, mm -hmm. To help your team, unless you're zero five, right? And your your mm -hmm. jungler and mid are actually really strong, and then you want to play for them, right? But you're you're the one that's winning, right? Like don't don't do that, you know. Like uh, play for yourself. But now mm -hmm. we probably can't even fight Vladimir. Also, I'd be really interested to see what your grass procs are right now. Like, I bet it's not high. Probably not. Yeah. But this all kind of stems, right? Like, had you been <laughs> ahead, you could just side lane for the rest of the game and this guy couldn't match you. But because you, you threw your lead, this guy can now match you. This guy will outscale you so he can free farm. You can't side lane freely anymore. You'll get run down by him. Like, all of mm -hmm. this just kind of falls down on at once, right? Like, mm -hmm. and, it, and it just bites you back, like, bites you in the ass. Um, like, and it's just situations like this that you should never be in. You should just be able to punish side lane and f constantly force Trundle to run to you. Right. But because of this, you, you can't now. Like, you're, you're too behind. You know, and... Nice ult. And I think this is where Elise dies while we're taking drag, so... I think that the mental just like went down after this. How did she die? She's died to Trundle. She's like, running off to Janna, yeah, I mean, that's a bit troll. Yeah, that's pretty game over at this point. This Elise. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I mean, the game's pretty much over at this point. You know, Vladimir got a triple kill. This guy right. shouldn't be as strong as he was, though. Had you right. been better. You know, like, yeah, you didn't mm -hmm. in him, but you didn't punish him. You know? Like, and I'm right. talking from the very get go, from level one, you could have eat onto him, you know, you could have fucked him. Yeah, you got the early kill, which was great. You could have punished him as soon as you got back to lane. Uh,. I need to find this uh, here. Oh God, this hurts to see. It's like it hurts my soul. This is the right. cannon wave right here. So you're losing this entire cannon wave and then you're losing the next wave that comes. When you're ahead, Vladimir's level four, you're almost level six, right? Oh, this is right. like, fuck these guys. Like actually fuck them. Like you're four on one and you're part of the, the, the winning side right now. Like you're a reason you're winning, right? You're winning top. Mm -hmm. Like play for yourself here. Mm -hmm. Like it's so important. Um, you know, like, and when you get to a point where you do just stomp and you are much better CS, you got a few kills. You know, you mm -hmm. can you can play side lane comfortably. Vladimir will be the one that's hundred CS behind, two levels down. You know, but instead you gave this guy the freedom <laughs> and the the ability to you know to win lane, essentially. Like the Vladimir won lane. Right. You know, you might not believe it, but he did. Right. Like he was a right. level above you. He was. Uh, he had more CS than you. Uh, mm -hmm. And that should never happen, especially from the early game, right? Um, right. Let me just log on and just show you a couple of like small things in practice tool before we finish, because I know we're at the hour now. Uh, so would you say that like Camille early game, like playing it perfectly is like the most important part of playing Camille? I mean, it's the same for any champion early game, you know? Like, right. uh, yeah, Camille's early game isn't great, but you you know, and most champions, maybe except for Warwick and Darius, will, right. will lose if they're level one and Camille's level two. Right. Uh, you know, like EQ is, is you know, like take, start taking Conquer, start taking PTA, like start being, like, uh, you know, having having some early damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just. Because I didn't really know the matchups at first. That's why, like, I, I took Grass, because I think it was, like, a catch-all kind of thing. But Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I've got, if we go onto the Camille mains, uh, I've got my matchup spreadsheet, right? Like, yeah, it's slightly right. updated. It's last season. Uh, mm -hmm. These tips still are super useful, right? Like, mm -hmm. Darius, you know, like, it, it's just important spacing tips, how to avoid his E, his Q, you know, like, what summoners to take, what runes to take, what, like, ability to start, you know, if I go down to Vladimir. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, so many champions. It's just forever to write. Uh, Vladimir, you know, yeah, you can start W, but you can start E level one and cheese him early with PTA. He's a very long cooldowns, you know, like, but it's, it's about, uh, taking your first ability depending on what the enemy like what you know the situation of the lane and the enemy where they are like i mean that's mm -hmm. you know, it's like six people using this sheet right now which is quite nice as well but i said 3a 3b you know for this matchup mm -hmm. 3a you know 3b these you know it's it's this one right 3b with vladimir you want pta alacrity coop like really insane early game damage uh right right let's how do I TP? I've teleported to Cursor. Let's teleport up here. Let's. Oh. Uh, also, refresh cooldowns, mana, and energy. Right, so the thing I was telling you about was you can you can cancel your Q with W, right? And by that, mm -hmm. I simply mean you can. What like what, I, what I'll do, let's spawn a dummy, actually. Uh, spawn enemy dummy. Let's do it here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'll do if I if I'm looking for a trade or a fight, you know I'll queue a minion, mm -hmm. land on them. Q oh okay I fucked it. Hang on, my bad. Lol. Uh, queue a minion. E. Mm -hmm. Q and like Q W like. So instead of initiating with, you know, instead of initiating with, with W like that, uh, mm -hmm. I'm 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 disengaging with W. You know, and you, I'm not, you're mm -hmm. not seeing me do that full backflip, like with my Q2, you know, like I'm not going through that whole animation. Mm -hmm. I'm like that Q went, you, no, didn't I see it. Yeah. you didn't even see me flip, right? Like right. I didn't even do the flip. Um, and again, like that, I didn't, you didn't even see me Q, Q on the minion there. Like, I'll do it again, really. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it exactly the same okay, time. Okay, yeah. I... Uh, and I'll do it again on the Q2. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and it, and it's it saves time, right? But you can disengage fights right. like that. So I'm fighting, you know, mm -hmm. and boom, I'm out. Um, you know, there's other things like uh, my favorite thing to do under tower. If the enemy's under tower, let me let me crash. So obviously, if I hit this enemy right now, I'm gonna tank tower. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can you can cancel you can you can do this as well. You can throw your E and then Q2 like. Oh yeah. You see that? Like I'm getting. I need to practice that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, getting practice. What you don't do it. Okay, I mean that wasn't that wasn't a good one. Uh, but you know things like it's it's so good to to do. <laughs> and you can you can grab the W on the way out as well. Uh, there's you can also do it with your R. So I can Q. You know, like if I'm if I'm tower diving, even if they if if I'm I'm I can I I will tower dive the enemy when I'm 100 HP and live. Uh, like, let's say this guy's low, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, obviously you can do that, right? That's standard. Uh, but if mm -hmm. you're going to kill them, you can do it like this. Ah, oh, fuck. Not like that. Hang on. You can do it. Ready? Mm -hmm. I got the Q too often, Insta R. Like, mm -hmm. but if they die from it, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll still jump in the air as you're, as you're casting and you'll reset tower mm -hmm. and go. Okay, I see. So even yeah. if they die, you'll just jump up and then you'll instantly fall down and there'll be no ult. But your ult will go and cool down, but you'll dodge tower. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just, it's just just used for dodging tower. Uh, you know, and like matchups like Garen, for example. Like, also use your ult to, to enable your cooldowns. I'm fighting Garen. Uh, oh, this is an allied dummy. Whoops. I'm fighting Garen. Uh, <laughs> I need my Q2. Like, I'm getting low. You know, he might be looking to ult. So a Q, mm -hmm. Q and an R at the same time, you know, it just stalls a little bit, gives you that invulnerability while your Q's coming up. Um, mm -hmm. 
You've also, you can also like QR and then like, just, you know, just, just run away. Like, mm -hmm. uh, gives you the movement speed from Q, gives you the invulnerability. Uh, you can, Q, like, you know, and it, like, it's just small combos, like quick combos, right? Like, right. Eating onto them, queuing, backing up. So I'm giving them the, hitting them with the slow so they can't chase me after. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, that one, but unless you're confident that you can hit that every time, like I've played Camille for so much, right? Like I can, like I'll hit it most right. of the time. Um, mm -hmm. But like even like the long ones, right? Like, but most mm -hmm. of the time I would just do that. It's, it's, it's the exact same damage output. Right, but you'll hit it. Okay. Um, so cancel the the W with or cancel the Q with the W. Okay. Yeah. So I'm coming in. Auto Q and W at the same time. You know, and I'm running away. Like fine, guaranteed to hit it. You know, like especially if, if mm. they're chasing you or if they stand still. Uh, it's just more. It's just more consistent. You know, I'm just get like get used to just playing. Uh, like doing them a little bit quicker. You know, mm -hmm. like I see, I, sometimes I see like, it's almost like you're doing, you know, like this. You know, like it, it seems very slow uh, and come mm -hmm. like got really short trades. Uh, oh yeah, let me show you the, just before we, we stop. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the... Water cursor, sorry, I'm so not used to practice tool. Uh, sworn enemy dummy. I'm getting chased down by a Darius. Uh, you know, like, if I'm just doing a nice long E like this, Darius hooks me out of that instantly, mm -hmm. right? Every time. Right. I'm running. He, he, it, you, yeah, you don't go as far, potentially, but he can't... They're never going to react mm -hmm. to that, right? Like... Right. And it's the same for, like, uh, if you actually want to fight Darius and do it before he can eat, like... Uh, so, like, if I'm fighting Darius, like, this close to my tower, I'm q one mm -hmm. I'm doing that combo and getting out. You know, he's stunned. He can't catch up to you. He's hit by the slow. You know, it's just... Right. You know, however you want to do it. I hit the Q2 on that. You know, I should turn my auto cooldowns off, actually. So you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did it wrong around that time. Hit him with the Q2 there, you know, like, but you can't see it, and it, it's just it's just small things, but they make a difference, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And the best thing, like, good trade is just Q1, back out W, and then come back in with the Q, like auto Q2. I got minion block my own minion there. Um, you can cancel Q1 with W2, right? Yeah, you but can the Q1 all animation Q2. is like a lot shorter, right? Uh, right. So it, you can do it, but it, it's not like you don't cancel as much. But like, it's just so <laughs> good to like this is just such a good common trade. Q into instant W, and then I auto Q, mm -hmm. like, or you've got, oh God, I'm getting so many minions. Can I clear these minions or not? Yeah, whatever. Uh, you can toggle minion fire, right? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So you you can uh, QW, you know. Uh, you've also, like, again, like, like, it's quite fancy. It doesn't really matter, you know. It doesn't matter too much, but a combo I like doing, you know, like, Oh fuck, not like that. Ah, that's still fucking it. You know, like hitting them with a W as you're going backwards on the E or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, uh, we're slightly over, but uh, it's not a lot you can do right. in an hour. Um, you know, like sure. feel free, you know, to reach out for another session. Uh, I will, I'll stop the recording here. Um,